Hello Glass Industry, it's Mark from Glass Open Book and welcome to the fresh episode of GAP News and let's dive right into it. COP26 is currently taking place in Glasgow, which is a global United Nations summit about climate change and how countries are planning to tackle it. There, world leaders and global stakeholders have the opportunity to make the significant decisions regarding so-called climate diplomacy. Luckily, this event didn't skip the glass industry and Glass Futures had the chance to attend the conference. There, they talked to the visitors and demonstrate the glass bottles produced by Enkirk using low-carbon biofuels and 100% recycled glass. This resulted in 90% less carbon in the glass making process and consequently should drag more attention to the glass industry and make it a key industry to improve the global climate situation. So hopefully we'll see that. The European Economic and Social Committee has called for more action to be taken to protect the European glass industry. It all started with the report Glass in Europe at a crossroads that was adopted by ESC on the 20th of October this year. The report was then approved in plenary the following day, and you can download the full document using the link in the description below, but let me give you the summary. The European Economic and Social Committee is promoting a greener, energy-efficient glass industry that will enhance competitiveness and maintain quality jobs. It has also welcomed EU policies that will support the glass industry and aid in the transition towards climate-neutral society. There is actually yet another point that I found quite interesting. The European Economic and Social Committee requests that investment in education and training be supported. A green and digital transition in Europe and in the glass industry in particular has to be a just transition that includes workers and social dialogue at every level. That is exactly what Glass Open Book is all about. We provide digital solutions at each level. Take, for example, the production floor. In the Glass App section of Glass Open Book, you can find applications from our partners APEC that are used by dozens and dozens of people on a daily basis. These solutions help them to train staff and Apex flagship software DES already helps glass plants to increase production efficiency on their way to zero defect production, as this ensures lower energy use and fewer carbon emissions, which perfectly reflects the green attitude. Glass Open Book itself is a useful tool for people from sales and procurement as they can present their best products and services or request for those of others. And Glass Open Book Media Team provides digital marketing services that help brands grow and promote the essential role of glass and sustainable production. I'm actually very proud of the work we do. All right, next up. OI is opening a new recycling hub for colored suppliers in Barranquilla in Colombia. This colored hub will allow OI to buy colored from suppliers in the local area, in this case the Atlantic coast, which is more than 550 miles from OI's plant. And according to Monica Franca, who is OI's sustainability leader, the hub is the key to recovering the colored available in the market, but located far from the plants. The opening of the facility is part of the company's strategic plan to keep more glass in the manufacturing stream and out of landfills. The mid-term goal is to bring in additional 600 metric tons of recycled glass packaging per month, which is predicted to happen by the end of 2022. That's it for this week. Share this video with your colleagues and partners and Hey, hit the like button below, as this will help algorithms to show this video to the wider audience. It's been Mark from Glass Open Book. See you next week. Goodbye.